We are gonna make a video right now, which is me and you, and you, okay? Okay. All right, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yo, what's happening, guys? Rob Realistic again, thanks for coming back. Uh, so the last video you guys saw, what I did was a couple of uh, little upgrades, took care of the balance, and I took care of the fan shroud on the truck, but today we're gonna do some maintenance on it. I've had a power steering pump leak for a while. The pump's like 60 bucks remanufactured from O'Reilly Auto Parts. I got the correct bracket and a good bracket, modified a different bracket, you know, made sure it was working, mocked it up, made sure everything was working, that the belt wasn't gonna jump or vibrate or slip off. And it seems that uh, what I got is, is gonna work. I would prefer just to go back to the original AC bracket that it has and just cut the top of the AC bracket off for the compressor. But I don't have that bracket. I need to do something because I was getting tired of that flaring tool, which is right here, I'll show you. This is what was holding the power steering pump on, the flaring tool. Eh, it's not the prettiest thing. When I open the hood, people see this and they go, that's a flaring tool. So now they'll just see the bracket that I mocked up, which if you saw the last video, you know what it looks like, but I'll show you what it looks like now. So this is the bracket that I mocked up right here. Uh, goes from the power steering pump to this bracket and I have an adjustment on it. Basically all that is is a modified alternator bracket. It's mocked up, it works, it's solid, the power steering pump's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and start pulling the pulley off and getting everything correct because this bracket is broken. So I have another bracket I'm gonna clean up and fix. So let's get that started. Wrong size of McSizerson's. This guy out of there. Fluid! Boom! Here we got the nasty ass power steering pump. Probably original. Maybe. We don't know. But now. We have to work on getting this pulley off. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, Q Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight sells these kits for $15.99, I think it was. Um, and then a coupon that brings it down to like, you know, 12 bucks. Or you can go to AutoZone and spend like 50 bucks for the same exact thing. Don't quote me on the price from AutoZone. I'm gonna use it one time, and if it breaks, it breaks. I'll return it and get my money back. Or, if it works, I keep it forever, you know? Item number is 63068. All right, so this is the first part we need. This will go around this. Okay, next is this.
It would be easier if I had a vice, but I don't. There we go. There it is. I think I probably used that wrong, but I don't care. Got the job done. But you can see where it's been leaking here. We're gonna take this. Actually, we don't even need this bracket. We need this bolt and that's it because I have another bracket. So we don't need this. This whole, this whole unit is trashed. We do have to take this off because I need these bolts. So this is the power steering bracket that I got from a buddy of mine and this was the part that was broken. This makes it so it can be adjusted and then you tighten this down. But uh, this is very corroded and crusty so I'll show you what the difference would look like. Um, just a quick clean on the wire wheel and a shot of spray paint will do. Plus we don't want to put this nasty thing on a brand new power steering pump for two reasons. One, it would look stupid and two, um, stuff wouldn't fit right. Okay, so this is what it looks like cleaned up. Just got done doing it from the wire wheel. I can't get everything. There's like a couple of stacks of grease in the corners, but whatever. We'll go ahead and try and chip it out or something with a pick, and then we'll give it a quick shot of paint. All right, here we got our new power steering pump. Pre manufactured, I mean. Okay, the bracket's got to go on first. power steering bracket on next one pulley make sure you get this centered now let's get the pulley press thing in my bobber okay so we're gonna grab this bit right here and notice there's a long side and a short side the long side goes in we're gonna put some of this anti-seize in it And the pulley goes on. Okay. Then you got a washer here. Then we got a bearing going here. Just gotta make sure this is facing down. We're gonna grab this piece, stick this on there. Okay, anti-seize coming up. This is the jack screw. Put some anti-seize in here. And also inside. And then we're gonna screw this down in here. All right. And there it is, one pulley with a bracket and power steering pump and all new and pretty. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and install that bad boy. That's gonna hang on there. I just got done tightening up these last bolts. Now we're gonna top off the power steering res. Hopefully without spilling anything. All right. The reason why I bumped it is to make sure that uh, the belt stayed on, which it did. Ooh. 
looking for leaks right now. Making sure the pulley is not wobbling. The pulley is on there straight. The belt is on there straight. I don't see any leaks on the high pressure side. I don't see any leaks here. Now we're gonna turn the wheels lock to lock and make sure it's not whining. Okay, well, I'm gonna call that good. Thanks for watching, guys. Rubber Holistics out. Just gonna clean up the shop. Peace.